with me. Oswald is dead! We mourn the loss of our future king and hope for East Anglia. We will remember another king lost Abel. Stop washing your face with mead. How can I face half Don Yarl now? I failed him again. We can take the battle to what remains of Ruid's clan before they hit back. Easier said than done. His men are holed up in Borja Castle, a fortress on the sea. On the sea? Then it must have a harbor. It does. Guarded by a gate of hefty iron held in place by timber spikes, difficult to force open. Timber burns. It does. But how do we reach it? We rig your ship with oil at her front and sail it ablaze at the gate. They would see us coming long before we reached the walls. We raise a feared, an army of East Anglia's farmers. Throw them at the front gate as a distraction. <laughs> Saxons willing to die for a bunch of Danes? It's a stretch. It can work, Finir. If they fight in Oswald's name, that is all the courage they will need. <laughs> you there! Did you hear of Thane Oswald's fate? Aye, we did. He dragged Ruid to the bowels of Elba, Dane devil. Ruid may be gone, but his clan still plagues East Anglia. And would you join us to rid your kingdom of his dogs? For Oswald? Aye, anything. Two eager Saxons is not yet defeated. But you may be right. We may have a chance. I can ride to Elmenham and muster what remains of Oswald's men there. But who else would join us? The Reeve of Thaleford, Winston. He's a bitter old barnacle, but he would fight to the death for this land. We can assemble a forward camp at the ruins north of Boer Castle. Ride with me, Finir. Let's pay this Reeve a visit. 
With any hope, Theovort remains untouched by Ruid's violence. Hope is a scarce word in this kingdom. Maybe so, but I would rather hold on to something, anything, than ride with empty hands. If Ruid's clan continues to roam this kingdom unchecked, the people of East Anglia will be as ravaged as these lands. And where do we find ourselves? Riding into the fence to beg a horde of frightened farmers for aid. To fight for a king that you gave them, Finir. Remember that. It was my task to find them a king, not protect that king against every danger that might be brought. Oswald wasn't crowned yet, nor was he married. Tarka. I say you have some work yet to do. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Right, right. No need to <laughs> <laughs> Watch your back. Which clan may still be nearby? Feyobor, just ahead. Wood smoke and ash. Ruid's men have been here. Watch your back. Ruid's clan may still be nearby. My friend, we will rebuild. I you have a will of iron coming here, knowing your kind did all this. Ruid's clan is your enemy, not me. I come on behalf of the late Oswald of Elmenham. You're still a Dane from top to two, but you're meddling that led to Oswald's death, leaving our kingdom for the worse. Oswald died defending East Anglia, defending you. Will you not do the same? What? Die in defense of a last cause? I have problems of my own. East Anglia will fall if Ruid's clan is not defeated. Fight with me to drive them off for Oswald and your kinsmen. Pretty words, Dane. But the men of Theovard have their own battles to fight. If you need an axe, I'm standing right here. There's a village to the east, Kingsbury. It was taken by Ruid's men a fortnight ago. And I'll not rest until it's back in our hands. Let me and my raiders take the village. Save your strength, and join us for the fight to come. A bold offer. If you do as you promise, the pikes at Theavard will be yours. I will take this news to our forward camp, Eivor. Follow when you can. I will see you there. Kingsbury's church has a great horn atop its steeple. If you manage the task, blew it, and I'll know you kept your word. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, my friend, we will rebuild, I promise you. I ain't got the strength no more. Stand tall. You there, Dave. A word, if you will. You called to me. We heard you talking with the Reeve, and we wish to fight beside you. We owe Oswald for his good deeds and fair rule. I'm glad to hear it. Go to the ruins north of Burg Castle. The army gathers there. Have you seen Mother? Oh, blessed. Your mother? When was last you saw her? Mm. Well, the bad men came. Said she'd be right back, but she ain't. That's the street. Oh, 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 it's a lot. It's a lot. Well, if well, you, you say so.
Have a look soon at that. Kau sal patira na hai hai. Show me. This place is heavily guarded. Keep the boats and eat your pieces. Watch my back. Signal. Yeah! <laughs> 
Survey the area, Sudan. Time to sound the horn and signal victory. Thank you, bro. Thank you. PUBG stream can't be done. PUBG streamers are ready. Offline games तो हमारे तीन stream कांड दिए। वो सब उन download करेगा ना कल। The Reeve has come to join me. Let's hope his promise holds. I held to my oath, Reeve. I hope you will honor yours. My promise holds, I. They of Ord will join you in the fight against Ruid's clan. With your aid, we may yet save East Anglia. In past times, that horn was used to muster feards all across our land. You may find others who have warmed to its call. Good. Whatever willing men you find, rally them soon at the ruins north of Burt Castle.
That horn came from Elmenham. Baldist must have got to them. The brother's fleet, gathered and ready. Pouring in from across East Anglia, and our ships stand ready. The Edward's Reeve is with us. His men will be here soon. More than his, the Kingsbury Horn has inspired men all across this kingdom. We will have the army we need. It seems Oswald got what he wanted in the end. Saxon and Dane united in common cause. A pity he is not here to see it. Forces will be ready soon. Are you ready to start the assault? I am. Our target is good. Let them have that. By cover of night, Baldus will lead the field at the front gates. With Ruid's men distracted, our forces move on the sea gate from the backwaters at their backs. And once we're in, we'll leave no gate closed in that castle. Ruid's men cannot be allowed to dig in further. Your longship. Is she ready? She awaits her own special glory. They need your words, Abel. For a long time, you lived in fear. Your house is razed, your fields scorched. Now, your chance has come. Fight to be free of this pain. Fight to be free of fear. Freedom! Freedom! Now is the time. Today, we rid East Anglia of Ruud's clan once and for all. You remember the dream I spoke of? You sail through Helheim on a ship of fire. Here, it may come to pass. Dreams, life, maybe they are one and the same. Tonight I ride the flaming sea steed, rushing for the spear den. A watcher alight on water's wake, another glory I will keep. Ready yourselves. Ruid's shit stains will see us coming. Men. We bring Helheim to our enemies. How nice! 
They greet us with some of their own from the air. Arrows! Grace! Odin's hand! May the sword maidens take them swiftly. We need to open these gates! Charge! Throw the that glorious ram to you! Ruin starts your own ball! Prepare to cut them down! This is for Oswald!
Let that ram to the gate and push! And keep pushing! East Anglia depends on it! Oswald, he lives. Oswald lives! Eivor, is that you? Shut your ass, twig spine. <clears throat> Stand fast. This will be over soon. Worry not for me. You must stop the <clears throat> silence, fool. So this is what it comes to, Wolfkist? Two Danes fighting over a filthy Saxon horse, son? This swine is your prize. Come and get him! Anglia have spoken to it. Give yourself over. Taken prisoner to a Saxon. To you? Never! You think yourself above the Danes? I think no such thing. Only God is above us. Of both Saxon and Dane. You dare call yourself Brengir? Face oh. me, battle swine! You I'll take you. your head for a trophy! Your battle is not yet won, Oswald. A miserable clan you leave with! Yes, and one that has bled this country dry for two summers! Uh, flee, Ruin, while pity restrains my blade! Not till I've taken all these shores have to offer. Uh, 
East Anglia will have its king, and it will not be you. That groveling worm in a cave. You must be blind to stand with such a man. Ah. Yes. Fight ah. for the Saxon king. The Saxons will scorn this day. Ah. For all your efforts, only the cold dark of Niflheim awaits you. Valhalla is my destiny. That fate will not be met today. Oh. Why does a Dane fight tooth and nail for a Saxon? This Saxon of all! He has an abundance that which you do not. Die. He's fit to rule, fit to lead. You are not but a murderous plunderer. This land is rife with weakness, and you are just another blighted dot upon it. Nothing a little fire. Mau ban saya rayu dia datang. Lok kamar gua, lok kamar lagi. You throw in with these wastrels, these arrogant swine. For what? A scrap of land and a promise of peace? Evil? No. He should be tried before God, a lawful assembly. <laughs> I won't have my reign begin with more blood spilt than is needed. Another screeching skull. This man must die for the damage he has wrought. The old laws are clear. These are Oswald's lands. To rule as king as he sees fit. Does Eivor bow to kings? To defy a king would shame him. East Anglia cannot heal without his honor intact. And what of your honor, Eivor? How much are you willing to lose? He deserves death, Oswald. That's our way. Eivor, please! <laughs> Blood for blood leaves no warmth in the hearts of men, Eivor. None at all. I should speak with Oswald. See if he's well. Evil. Saxon and Dane. We fought well, side by side. If there is to be a future for both our kind, people like you and me will have to change the most to live within it. Even if that makes us uneasy. When you are crowned king, the laws of this land will be yours to decide. All this is... It's like a dream. But you're not asleep. Well fought, well fought, the both of you! You came as well, old friend. If I'd known you were still alive, I would have stayed in Norwich. Look around you. A happy occasion and a glorious victory. And soon, something more grand to take place. Our wedding, my love. If you will still have me, that is. And why would I not? I fought poorly. I melted under the heat and anger of that brute. And I never... Oswald, stop. You fought with all your heart and soul. That's all you need ever do. Come then. We have much to prepare for. A bride to wed and a kingdom to lead. What some men wouldn't give for such things. Countless men have died for them. And you, Vanir? Are you jealous of such things? Hardly. My heart is afire, but my body aches. I desire only a long nap. I saw a bale of hay back there. Later, Abel. For now I must see to the wounded. Then I will see you at the wedding. Aye, of course you will. I should return to Elmenham. 
Oswald's wedding will soon begin. Are you here? Wedding preparations in full bloom. Come, see my wares. Always good to pick up new stock for the shop. Never know when this might come in handy. This is a very good piece. This could be very useful. Finish looking around. I must be on my... Nice 
Celebration, my lord. Thank you. May this feast set up just like you to keep a king waiting at his own wedding. Yet I arrived in the end. A part of me worried you wouldn't. You look good, Oswald. Like a man about to marry a more powerful woman. Do I? Because I'm nervous as hell. Of all the battles a man can fight, the war against himself is the hardest to win. I hereby name you man and wife, and as man and wife, I name you... Oswald of Elmenham, first of his name, the rightful king of East Anglia, with his Lady Valdis, soul, fist, and beauty of this land. You've done it, steward. A king now sits on the throne of East Anglia. Don't leave yourself out of this song. We did it together. Back to your dreams, then, of fire and Helheim. I lost my way some time ago. Hard to say when. I don't want to be here. I never did. This was half Dan's dream. He ordered me to see through. In my dreams, I'm sailing, remember? Wind in my beard, salt on my lips. I want that life again. Whether or not I find it, only time will tell. Until then, let us feast, drink, and forget our pain! Skull, Ivor! Let's have a... Your fist is without ale. Let us address that. Surely a special... A metal not to Odin and his endless glories. And the new king of East Anglia. Not bad, wolf kiss. A fool's way to... A challenge, none. I will drink... <laughs> and we'll make it interesting. Put your silver where your mouth is. What say you? 
I accept. Skull! Is that what you say? Yes, we celebrate. Skull! Drink more. Skull! 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 Sweating. Don't hurl into the barrel, okay? Strong, but I am stronger. <laughs> I stronger than me. You drink as well as Valdis. Now that I would pay to see. Speaking of payment, where is my silver? Here, well earned, Wolf Kissed. Eivor, care for a challenge? Kissed. They are not broth here. My arrows. Even after draining so much meat, succeed and you. <sighs> Keep. Time is up. You've been bested at last. A waste of my time. Meat and pots confound the wolf kissed. <laughs> when they write your saga, I'll remind them of this embarrassment. Ah, this is beneath me, Brothia. And you're no fun. It took so long to set those pots up, and I. Ooh, hail. Represents fertility. Did you know that? As does Freya. What's your point? You impress me, Eivor. Your battle wisdom, yet I want even a fool that. Hey, hey. But I. Sheath your plow sword, Brodeer. I'm not interested. Uh, you, you thought. No. No. Well ahead of you. Wait, did you hear? Did my bro... The road to Valhalla does not run that way, Finir. He's been up there a while. These are the moves of Elmenhar. Eivor, Eivor! Some sweet wine for a sweet swine? <laughs> Come join me! <laughs> the Saxon god wanders somewhere up here, does he not? I haven't seen him. They like to say he moves with mystery. Look! The moon! Are you all right? I've tasted... I'm glad to hear... I always felt like... You can let them go. My long... <laughs> Come on. Let's get you to solid ground. Everything's spinning. You're very strong. You're very large. Hey, 
Ballas! Ruhe! Sorry for this, Eivor. I've had one last glory. It need not be the last. Not the last. <laughs> Enough fun and games. I should see how Oswald is doing. Eivor, I'm about to address our guests, and I'd like you to be there. It's been a worthy ceremony so far. And have you had enough fun yet? I'm ready to hear. Good. Come. Friends. Honored guests. We- But it is not conflict that by- May we always favor- So, to my Dane friends and neighbors, I give thanks for the bravery you have shown during our collective struggles. And for my fellow Christians, may we continue standing as examples of our Lord's grace. Lights in the dark. I see East Anglia's future right here, right now, in all of you, Dane and Saxon alike. To our future. Still a bit soft on insults, but the king has courage. And to Eivor, without whom none of this would have been possible. On behalf of East Anglia, let this ring be proof of our loyalty to the Raven Clan and all they have done for us today. Would you have any words of wisdom for us? Oswald, you would not have been my first choice as king, nor my second. I thought you weak, bendable, without resolve. But not all men are as they first appear. I came to see that Oswald's heart is amongst the larches I've ever known. He is sturdy, he has wisdom, and he has courage. All qualities of a man worthy to be king. He is the king East Anglia deserves, and the king you need. To the good King Oswald! To Oswald! Skull! Skull! Scored! Okay, everyone, the bridal race starts now. Remember, you all have to lose to the bride and groom. Quick, brother! We can't lose to Oswald. You lost! <laughs> it was a beautiful wedding, Oswald. Like you said it would be. Thanks to you, and everything you've done here. Everything I've done here was for my clan. Their safety is my knight's good rest. You know that feeling, I'm sure. I do. When we met, I spoke of an alliance. Will you hold to the oath you made? I will. Consider East Anglia a friend of the Raven Clan. There will be a day when I come calling. Goodbye, friend. Until next time, Great King. I should find Finia. Say goodbye before I leave. Ah, greetings, Eivor. You're missing the festivities. I've had my fill. It's as much yours as it is Oswald's. I was a crumbling man, Eivor. Before all this, I thought I'd die, but now, my heart burns. Glory cares not for aid. Together? Together, I'll gather my things.
Now, it's, now it seems the wind calls me back to Ranji. Let's tell her the good news. Ah, hey, my boy. Roland. Eivor, thank Tyr. I heard shouting. Is something wrong? Holgir robbed me, and I demand he be punished. Ha! Huh. Rot disappointed word. Does the deer rub the stream when she takes a drink? Does a cow rub a field when he crops on sweet grass? Eivor, this matter requires sensitive judgment. Will you? Of course. From the beginning, please. Well now, there is no excuse too small, I see. Nothing to keep you from coveting that seat, is there? In Sigurd's absence, who has better claim to oversee these disputes? You might leave them to work it out for themselves, but that would mean... letting go, would it not? Please start again. Tell me all that has happened. I will start. I have been falsely accused by this Saxon Philistine. A Philly what? Are you mocking me? Silence, please. I will hear both of your complaints and render a decision, awarding compensation if needed. Understood? Rowan, tell me your version of these events. Huh. As you are aware, Holger and I are neighbors. Near enough that I often catch him at my stables, stealing my tools. Borrowing. Holger, let him speak. Stealing, borrowing. My point being, I have always allowed him to use whatever he pleased. I greatly admire your Norse generosity and had hoped to match it. But this morning, Holgir stretched the limits of my grace. Entering my stables for their feed, I found my most beautiful, gentle mare stripped of her tail. Bereft, not a strand in sight. I am ashamed to say my natural suspicion drew me to Holgir and how right I was. For when I peered across the lane, there he was. Gripping a horsetail brush, slathered with indigo, dragging it across a sheet of painting, Rowan. I was painting. You make it sound so crude. You see? Such willful arrogance. It will take ages for Ilgafur's tail to reach its former length. I demand compensation. I understand. Thank you, Rowan. Holger, let me hear your sight. Eivor, you have known me as a skald for years. You have seen how my poems bring life and joy and wisdom to our people. And you know that my work requires a certain, let us say, freedom. To make use of rare resources to compose my verses. Often when lacking the proper tools, I have made use of novel items. Alvis's walking stick, Tovi's inks, all were given gladly. You cut off my horse's tail to make a brush, you bleed- Rowan! As I was saying, this morning in the throes of poetic reverie, I realized that my latest piece required delicate brushwork. I could have used a frayed stick, some cloth, my hands, but no. I needed something gentler, softer, to make a perfect brush. I needed the fine hairs of a well-raised horse. And so I availed myself of a local resource. You clipped Alfgafur's tail to the rump without asking. It was early. I did not wish to wake you. Thank you, Holka. I believe I understand your position. I believe I have heard enough. If you will... My horse looks like a fool, Eivor. No handsomer than a donkey now. You must do something. Do not conflate hair with beauty, Rowan. She remains radiant. Elgifer's hair will grow back in no time. Quiet, both of you. Now listen. Before I give my verdict... I believe... My horse... Do not conf... Quiet, both... Holger. Rowan is clearly in the right. You shared the tail from his horse without gaining permission. I borrowed the tail! Borrowed! Does the reality of... It is a two-victim crime, Holger. Though they are... As the horse's value has diminished significantly, you will pay Rowan its market price. But the horse was not for sale! Rowan! 
Admit it! My decision is final, Holger. Pay what you owe, and meet tomorrow as friends. And if I do, may I keep the horse? Pay the man and be done with it. Rowan, does this satisfy you? It does. Thank you, Eivor. Good. Then by Tyr's blessing, let this matter rest. We're done here. Return to your homes in peace. Would you allow me to pay you with a vibrant painting? After all, in some way... Oh, hello. That Holger, he is quite... I almost envy him. To see the world through such a muddy... Let's not walk too... East Ang... Eivor Kingmaker, we shall... Some interesting news. King Chilvulva sent Chilbert to Shropshire. He hopes to install him as Elderman there. Good for Chilbert. He should do well considering all he has learned from you. I gave him only a taste of my knowledge. The rest he will need to figure for himself. One more thing. I do not know if you heard, but Svend passed away a short time ago. The poor man slipped away in his bed. I had not heard, no. And how is Tovi? She must be gutted. It has been rough on her. She spends quite a lot of time at his burial mound. Speak with her, if you have the time. Landry, are you well? You seem distant. I'm fine. Only a little tired, but well enough. Shall we look at the map? Not until you tell me what is wrong. Oh, I think I have. I feel somewhat trapped. In this room, in this settlement, in this life. I cannot help you with your life just now, but I can get you out of this room. What do you say? I don't know. There is much work to be done. Stop. Forget about alliances and responsibility for just a few hours. We could take a ride to Grand Bridge or somewhere nearby for a change of pace. That sounds lovely. And too far to consider just now. But thank you, Eivor. Maybe another time. Now, what was it you needed? Ranvi, take a break. Let us make for Grandbridgeshire and get you out of this musty room. Do you mean now? Right now? Of course. You said you were tired of all this, so why not stretch your legs and fill your lungs? I did ask, didn't I? You're right. Lead the way, Eivor. Follow me. We won't take the longship today. This trip is for us. Just you and me. Is that a problem? Not at all. So long as I get some air and sun, I will be fine. I spend too much of my day in the Longhouse. We will need to cross the river at some point if we want to enter Grandebridgeshire. If you know a better way, I would love to hear it. Is swimming not an option? Swimming? I don't know. Are, are you joking? A boat or a horse would always do, but I'm not opposed to the more traditional methods. It really is lovely. Oh! I have not been this far east of the settlement. Isn't that awful? You think safety awful? To live one's life in so small a pen. Hear stories from you and the scouts without ever venturing further. <laughs> yeah! Do you smell that? The earth and the air. It is good to be out here. Eivor, there. What is that? 
This is where the Summer Army retreated when Grantorbridge was lost. They seem to have resettled the city in full now. Right, right. I know this land so well by its map, but to see it in person brings it to stunning life. A Roman marvel. I will not soon forget this site. And here we are. Welcome to Grantorbridge. We should make our way to the Longhouse. Ah, oh, it's bigger than I imagined. Rustic, woody, beautiful. And everything seems quite new. Under Soma's guidance, the Summer Army built this town up from a small village. They wanted a hub for trade near London, and a launching point for incursions into Wessex. Well, it is impressive. Some interesting architectural ideas here, too. Well, 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 is that it? It's been quite a while since I've seen your face around here. I know you, I think. One of Soma's loyal men. Magni, is it? Yeah, good memory. Good to see you again. This is Randvi, a dear friend and a sturdy fighter. Well met, Randvi. Eivor seems to have a preference for befriending lovely women. You know, I noticed the same thing. I expected more people about Magni. Has something happened? Soma rounded up some warriors and took them west. She's hoping to open a new trade route with Oxen of Order. Only now, in times of trouble, I have discovered I am not the surrogate leader I should hope to be. What sort of trouble? Oh, a pack of surly bandits having kept nearby. To the east of the water's edge. They attack all merchants who travel here by river or road, and word is spreading quickly. It's keeping traders at bay. That could cripple your town if it carries on too long. <laughs> it's crippled me already. The bastard stole my horse yesterday morning. So what will we you... We can take care of them, Magni. And if we don't find your horse, we will steal you a new one. Well, that would ease my mind. I have nothing to offer you for this deed, but the bandit surely would. Take from them what you're... Good. Cons Eivor, come. The bandits are camped on a river, he said, east of the water's edge. You volunteered us for a fight, Randvi. Is that your idea of a pleasant ride through the country? It must be. I surprised even myself. Away from the table for a day, and already you are lusting for blood. A feeling you must know well, no? I have always wanted to experience the world as you do, and now I will. Unless you have a more interesting day planned for us. We will help Magni and clear these bandits. But do not be rash when we find them. The Raven Clan needs your steady hand. Yes, indeed, my lord. I shall follow your order to the letter. If I did not know any better, I would say you're teasing me. Oh, certainly not, Eivor Wolf kissed Iron Fisted Drenger. I would never tease one with such commanding authority. The bandit camp. All right, stay close and do as I do. Rude and look sternly at the horizon? By all means.
I thought you wanted to do this in secret. You seemed hot for a battle, so here we go. That was a thrill, Eivor. We are champions of Grand Bridge. Do you know of any other towns that need liberating? You don't think we have had enough drama for one day? We should return to the settlement. Or we could have a drink. To celebrate our victory. At home. Tekla has all the mead and ale we could want. Eivor, our outing has hardly begun. Find us an alehouse and let us make ourselves at home. Let's return the horse. And if your thirst remains... We'll look around. Magni, Did you? your horse is outside. Thank the courts. She is here, so... Eivor, over here. Look at this. Oh, someone is thirsty. Are you determined to get drunk? I am... What are you... A drinking... Ranvi. Mead Queen. All right. Beautiful. And I'll drown. Ha! I am the Mead Queen, slayer of wolves and barrels. I told you I would drink you under the table. So, are you satisfied? My head is ringing like a bell. More than satisfied. Now come, we'll ride this off and take in the air as we head home. After just one more stop. Ah, oh, Randvi. It's a sunken tower near a waterfall, close to home. We can stop for a look, and then you are free of me. It's near the highest point of a hill, just south of the settlement. Easy to spot, I'm sure. All right, one last stop then. I know it might not show, Eivor, but I am terribly excited. Oh, it shows. Leaving already? Huh. Well, I do hope to see you again. Randy, return any time. I might have to, Magni. Thank you for everything. No, no, thank you. Safe travels. I think you may have punctured poor Magni's heart back there. What can I say? Not the first, and it will not be the last. I name you Randvi, slayer of bandits and breaker of hearts. I will sound it with pride. Sunivar described his tower for me. A desolate, yet peaceful place. Ah, I'm eager to see it. After a full day of action, finally you wish to calm down. I've had my fill of adventure. 
Time for a little rest. I was wondering something. You and Soma. Was there something more to your bond? You spoke of her with a particular shine in your eyes. We grew very close, very quickly. Is that what you mean? No, I mean... Did something happen between you two? What sort of question is that? An innocent one. Innocent as a newborn babe. Nothing happened between us. That is my answer. Hmm. I find that disappointing. If I were you, I might have tested the waters. Eivor, entangled by a hardy Jarlskrona as she leads her army to victory and prosperity. A rather appealing match. <laughs> I'm going to pretend your last words were taken by the wind, Randvi. If you must. Look there! That must be the tower. Take the bridge. Kya! Just as beautiful as Sunuva's stories tell. Can you imagine how it looked when it was first built, hundreds of winters ago? Sometimes when looking at a map, I imagine little people in their little armies, traversing the land. And now, staring at these ruins, I imagine people of old, how they lived, never knowing what would become of their monuments. You have a fertile imagination. I want a view from the top. Shall we? Lead on! Mind where you put your fingers. These stones are old and weathered. You climb well for one who folds maps. You jest, but I have raised the frames of longhouses and hammered the ribs of longships. My hands are calloused from hard work. A stunning view. It reminds me of my early years in Norway. How I used to climb the hills beyond the wood. You have an adventurous heart. I hardly see it behind the table, but... ...now I've watched you scale a tower in furs, soaking wet. I was rowdy in my youth. Hunting. Sailing. I was a wildling of the open air, before I became this staunch and stoic woman. Married off in service of peace between two clans. A noble and worthy role, but not one I had ever imagined for myself. You would have made a fine wandering warrior. A Jomsvikinger, free to come and go as she pleased. I think so too. It may be we would have sailed together, over the open seas, raiding or traveling. Or faced each other on the field of battle. Without your marriage to Sigurd to secure peace, our clans might still be at war. True. Very true. Thank you for today. Every bit of it has been a dream, and... ...and I'm not keen to wake. Then don't. We can stay here as long as you like. Yes. What was that? Oh, no, I am... I'm sorry. I sh shouldn't have. I got away from myself. No need to apologize. Sigurd is your brother, and I... ...I have put you in a very difficult position. The heart does not do politics like the head. It may be the meat, it may be the air, but there is no need to apologize. <laughs> I am sober enough. But the truth of it is... I have felt this way for some time now. I care for you, Eivor. That is... comforting to hear. I have long felt the same way. But I banished the thought that 
this would ever happen. Many times I wished to tell you. Wished to say what was in my heart and what I desired. But duty kept me from it. Say all you like. Today has meant so much. We rode, we fought, we drank, we laughed. You showed me your world. Not in words, but deeds. Deeds are more direct than words. Andre? Hmm. Must have returned to the settlement. Soon, guide me. Overmode me learn the nephew yet on a bay or switch it for yet. Oh. Cast about this lad, my friend. No sunlight reaches where you are going. May you bathe in serpent skins. Your name, 
Frown hard. Quick the dead. Whatever it may be, is stained forever. My name is Horsa. I'll have silver in the mouth of my home. Please say that it is spent well and frivolously. Hey there! How are you? My love.
sense. It is not that complicated. You do not appreciate the subtleties of a cutting flight. That... What is happening here? Holger, we... It is on... That... I would have... A... I will begin. <clears throat> There's a spot in... Well, it's not... I... But it's there. I would say... Holger wins. <laughs> I knew it! You are the only father. Tell me. Eivor, it's Sven. He... He passed while I was away. Tovi, I'm sorry I wasn't there. No one was. We had planned to brand and when I went to... I'm sure he went. But he went with plans. When we tell stories, Sven, I wasn't... Everyone look, they don't know. Life may ask more. Mm. I was... That must have been... Someone else might have done better than me. I know Sven. He was the most... And he chose you. You may step up or step down, whatever you just... I need to get home. Be strong, Tovi. And know you are valued. Ranvi, you left so suddenly. There is work to be done. There always is. I see. But do not think for a moment that I have forgotten you and our wonderful day. Oh, nor would I wish you to. Good. Then we see eye to eye. And heart to heart. Yes, indeed. Until our next moment alone, we should return to our great work. England will not pacify itself on our behalf. No, indeed. Back to work, then. Come to me. Should we take this to your chamber? Hmm. No need. I want to see the alliance. What of Oxenefordshire? Sigurd told me he had business there. Ah, yes. Sigurd is there now, in fact. He bids you go meet him as soon as you can. He has partnered with a rebellious thane called Giedrich, and hopes to install Giedrich as Elderman in exchange for an oath. There is an alehouse at the center of Buckingham. Sigurd will meet you there. I should join my brother then. Where is Buckingham? <laughs> Along the Great Owls River that divides Oxenefordshire, Sigurd will be pleased to see you.
won't be gentle if they spot me. Be my eyes, Sunan. Soldiers on alert. What has happened here? An alehouse. This must be it. <laughs> Secret is not here. I'll ask around. These soldiers always leave a bleeding mess. Are you? You are not. I'm not here to. It was him what caused the ruckus. Then Lady Edwin, the soldiers. Which way did my brother? Hmm. What's I am asking us. Look, Dane. You. You seem to respect this man, Gidrich. If he was talking to my brother, it's because he wants what's best for this Shire. Maybe you're a woman who also wants Axenifort Shire to be free and to decide its own fate. A woman will stand up for her village, who won't be crushed under the boot of oppression. I hope I am. Such a woman would help me find Giedrich's friends. You're right, you are. Your brother and his friend jumped through that window there and scampered off towards the river. It's a good bet they hid in one of them fish houses. Sigurd and Basim headed south. Sigurd and Basim headed south. They wouldn't go far. I'll check along the river. Smells like a fish house. Good spot to hide. Wait! Stop! Alan was Sahlan, Eivor. We could have caught you to bloody giblets, Wolfkist. Why so unnerved, brother? It's not like you. Half the soldiers of the Shire are hunting us. You must have noticed. Is that why you haven't come home? You're playing hide and fetch with the Mercian soldiers. Your brother's a busy man, Eivor. Weighed down by pressing duties. I wasn't speaking to you, Basim. I'll hear Sigurd's answers from Sigurd. Brother, we should be forging alliances. Send this man back to his warren before he leads you astray. Eivor, gods above, I'm grateful you've joined us. We have made strides towards an alliance, in fact. A local thane called Gidrids has pledged an oath to me. I've heard of him. The alewife also mentioned a Lady Edwin who commands the soldiers. Why not ally with her? Lady Edwin's husband was the Shire's elderman, until Gudrun's army ended his life. Now she's taking up her husband's fight, with the promise of aid from King Alfred of Wessex. Edwin vows revenge on the Danes who stole her husband and her livelihood. From what we know, Alfred is a fearsome king. If Edwin can win his full support, this Shire is lost to Wessex. So to fight her, you've pledged your sword to a minor thane who likely commands a gang of farmers and fishermen. Have faith, Eivor. A few hundred Saxons armed with hayforks and billhooks can be terrified. Gods! All men and women, noble or peasant, have within them the seeds of something greater. This is true. Sometimes greater than the average mind can fathom. Well, Edwin has Giedrich in shackles now. All your plotting has turned to ash. Not if we act soon. She dragged her prisoners to the Longhouse. With you here, we can mount a surprise strike. If Giedrich is our best chance for an alliance, let's see it done. Sigurd, has Basim talked you into something of little reward? Eivor, have you lost hope in my Warcraft? I heed Basim's wisdom, but he follows my lead, always. He has the look of one who trusts none but himself. Basim is secretive by nature, but he is wise and forthright, and he has opened my eyes to a magnificent truth. He has promised me a reward so unusual, so incredible, 
It will shatter your mind to shards. Brother, our bond has the iron heft of a war axe. Do not let Basim and his prophecies of good fortune sway you from our simple goal. Never. Our goal is fixed. We shall soon be the Lords of Mercia. Then Soldiers are tightly wound. Never. Our goal is fixed. We shall soon be the Lords of Mercia, and all of him. But Basim has a deep insight. He's read wisdom in the lines of my face, and heard the litany of my forefathers, and... Well, there will be time enough for my saga hey, later. Can't do this alone! Sigurd! Kill this sweaty fishwife! Stay your blades. This traitor Giedrich will face trial, as will all the treasonous thanes of this shire. You're the traitor, Edwin, calling on Alfred of Wessex, begging for his army. Clap your mead hole, Giedrich, lapdog of the Danes. You'll sell us out to Wessex, and that poxy ass bastard Alfred. We won't have it. You're not the elderman here, Lady Edwin. Turn around and walk away, and we'll leave you be. You heathenish fork-tongued Dane. Foul-smelling heap, I shit on you all. Lady, choose your next words with care. For you see before you the future master of all England, Sigurd, of the hungry Raven Clan. Lay down your arms. Free my friend here, and kiss my lordly feet. You will not get a second chance. Sigurd, are you cracked? And you can kiss my rosy red ass, Wayface. I've done with this offal. I leave them to you. Flay them alive and tan their flesh for saddles. Oh, brothers! Get in this! What have they done to you? What kind of mess did you get yourself into? Oh, snap! Long time in! I can still fly these bastards! To fight. You should have freed me. Giedrich, this is Aver, my stone armed sibling. Well met. That was your plan, Sigurd, to charm the lady with your vague hope of kingship. Prophecy, Aver, not hope. No time to squabble. Edwin's taken most of the Shire's thanes. She has her way, they'll be dead by supper. Tend your wounds, Giedrich. We'll free your friends. And what of the holy woman, Fulke? You promised us a meeting with her. I did, aye. But it's a fair mystery why you'd want to talk with... Where is with... she? Fain Holt will know. Fulke lives on his lands. But he'll be dead with the rest if you don't stop the trial. Tell us where and we'll go now. Their lives depend on the speed of your tongue. 
Southwest of here, halfway to Oxen of Florida, at the Leash Vila garrison. Bat him. Ava, to horse. Thank you. Again, Aver, you and I, with blades drawn and hearts ablaze. That you know Who is this Fulke that Basim spoke of? An ally, Aver. A most important ally. A holy woman. <laughs> secret knowledge. That is not the sort of alliance we're looking for, Sigurd. No, it's even better. You cannot imagine what discoveries await. You're speaking strangely, brother. Because I'm alive, Aver. My heart's alight with the fuel of battle fire. Like old times, eh? Yes, Sigurd. Like old times. Remember our hunts beyond the northern way? <laughs> our first big kill was a ten-point deer. We brought it down together. The arrows from our bows like darts of ice. With sharpened chin bones for skinning the beast. You on the right, me on the left. We leapt and struck. We crashed to the ground like a felt tree. Then the bloody struggle. Damn animal bit my hand. Never knew a buck could bite so hard. But I pierced its throat, spilling its lifeline into the drifts. That put an end to him. Such tales your siblings tell. It's just one of a thousand, Basim. It was the glorious dawn of our lives. You haven't yet explained who this Fulke woman is. When the time is right, I will. She is the fulcrum of a larger plan. Above conquering England. What larger plan could we need? Patience, Ava. Patience. Fine. Keep your dread secrets, brother. But if this alliance fails, you may take them to your grave. This fever will break once you know the whole truth. I promise. What do you see? Oh, no. <laughs> There's the trial. No closer.
They are about to execute the prisoners. Paradise way. <laughs> Open, would you? <laughs> Gidrid sent me. Let's get away from this place. We can talk safely over there. We fought with our Weasley Eldama for years. Now his widow wants to lop off our heads. Bless you all. Thanks to you, I live to pay Lady Edwin back in blood. I am Thane Holt. Does Giedrich live? He is safe in Buckingham. Good Thane. We are at your side in this fight, to keep this land in the hands of those who love Mercia, be they Saxon or Dane. God in heaven knows I'd sooner see a Dane married to my daughter than sell a man of Wessex one of my pigs. If Giedrich is behind you, then I am too. We're told you know of a holy woman, Fulke. Where is she now? Can we not fixate on this cipher, Fulke? Edwin is our focus. Fulke holds a secret that may turn the tide of this fight. Without her, I cannot achieve my full purpose here. The madwoman, Fulke. Oh, you see, brother. Your mysterious Fulke has a mind in disarray. Mad or no, I want to speak with her. 
Understand this. Fulke is a heretic, a sower of poisoned knowledge, and an enemy of the Church. She claims to have seen or spoken with God himself. And for this, Lady Edwin had her imprisoned. I know not where. At a monastery, I suppose. We should make inquiries. Sigurd, do we not owe Gidrich some word of what has happened here? You can speak with him in my stead. But we must hurry. Fulke's life may be in danger. We risk losing all the gains we've made here for the sake of this woman. Trust me, Eivor. Fulke is of great importance. You'll soon understand. I hope I will. We have a camp to the east at Linforta, an old harbor on the Great Ouse. Meet us there. We thanes will raise a feared and join with you to take down Edwin, whatever it takes. Bring this news to Giedrich, and tell him we'll be ready when he calls. Every man will... No soldiers here now. Gidrits has cleared them all out. She's well supplied, that's for certain. Well done capturing these, lad. It was blood. Oil jars, spring old arrows, fodder and the like. Take what's useful and burn the rest. Gidrich. Eivor, do the Thanes live? Every single one. They've set out to raise a fear of fighting men. They all stand with you, Gidrich. We'll need every pike and poker we have to take down. And you? I like your blood. Edwin's plot. Where is your... They continue. He seems to think. You do what you must. I'll move to... Is there anything... Ah, there's... We still... That I can do. When you're ready for... Calm yourself. So 
The other side must be barred. <laughs> Ginger's like saints. Sorry, Gabby Thumb. 
shrubs for cover. to get on the other side.
Show me what lies ahead. <laughs> Near an old harbor. This is the camp. Best not to draw attention here. Wait a minute. You can't just scamper away from me. Your <laughs> luck's run out. Charm her when she's in our care. Do we say what we're after? Or... <laughs> Charm her when she's in our care. Do we say what we're after? Or do we dance around the idea? From what I've learned about Fulke, she's the... And he... I... In prison. This is... I might be pleased. I have explained... You've done nothing. I wish to speak to her. Me. Your Jarl. That alone is reason enough. Why? So she might cast a spell and turn Eatman into an eel. Fulke is not the only advantage we seek here, Aver. There will be treasures in St. Albanes. More than we can count. I have already plundered St. Albanes Abbey and lifted its treasures from nave to crypt. I saw no prisoners of note. She is there. I know it. And she is the most valuable treasure of them all. Eivor, there was a time when you would follow me without question. Because we trusted one another. Because you knew I would never lead you into folly. Never wager our lives before I knew the cost. Is there something that holds you back from embracing me as you once did? As your brother? Your family? Sigurd, you know I would never betray you. Y your trust in me. I'll fight with you. But there must be limits to this chase. Gidrich is counting on us. 
Of course he is. And soon we will deliver. Come. When you raided St. Albanese, are you sure you saw nothing? No crypt? No prisoners? Nothing. You're back. Very well. Nothing I can recall for certain. What do we know of this woman? Very little. She appears to be an adventurer of sorts. The Thane called her a heretic. All the better for us. She's clearly someone who knows her own mind. I admire your optimism. I admire your optimism, brother. Oh, my eyes.
Kiraz edeceksin. Eee nasıl am? Looking for trouble. Looking for trouble. Incomprehensible ludas qui erat. Disciples es omine. Crawled into the brush, have you? Set for a long time, Chana. Trace, nothing. Through here. For like holy Judas, I thank you, beloved Jesus, for the wisdom to pierce a fierce plan. Who dares enter this sanctuary? This stony cave reeks of piss and salty tears. How dare you? We've come for the woman Fulke. She need not bedevil you any longer. Oh, the mad heretic! Ah, the self-begotten spirit has sent an angel to deliver me. Open the door. Her heresies must be punished. Not by Danes or Mahometans, but by true Christians. Friar, our hands are bloody with the gore of your guardians. Is your guard so starved of martyrs that you wish to die as well? You make a fine point. Let me pray on this. The Lord bids me to welcome all strangers. Here, friend, take the key, and depart with your strange friend. Praise thee, Lord of the Treasury of Light, for this... Are you sent... That 
You are the woman... I am Fulke in this realm. A humble seeker of the self-begotten one. And you are a collector of artifacts. The instruments of the church. And you possess an object. Now, are you... Why do we linger? There are stables beyond the monastery where we can speak in peace. Lead the way. Come. How long were you imprisoned? Some weeks, perhaps a month. For your so-called heresies. Heresies, yes. I have been blessed to discover many things in my lifetime. Objects which attest to the works of the Demiurge, the false god worshipped by these robed imbeciles. Across Germania and... I found these relics and carvings. And here in England, too. Lady Edwin claims they are blasphemous, but her mind is clouded. The true worth of these objects is immense. May we see these objects? If you wish to know the truth of our origins, I will show you today. I would indeed. Where you go, I will follow. Enough of these mysteries, Sigurd. Fulke is a curator of objects of great worth, one of which may reveal my true nature. True nature? You said this was about victory, about defeating Edwin. To know that I am descended from the ancient gods is a victory. It would give me dominion over this land. Descended of the gods? Brother, what by Odin's eye are you saying? Fulke, we have heard that you possess a profane stone with strange markings and the image of a tree. That I do. A monolith I call the Saga Stone, for it came to this land with the Dane Ragnar Lothbrok. Do you have it? It is the sun and moon of all my sacred objects. Will you buy and trade this stone for an alliance? Or more fighting men? Is it useful for anything other than flattering yourself? Perhaps I should leave you three alone to hammer through your differences? We are unified. We only wish to see the stone, to read the runes inscribed upon it. No one on Earth can read those runes. The languages are known and probably long dead. There is no risk in letting us look. No risk at all. Praise thee. Oh, self-begotten one, for sending these three to deliver me from my punishment. No whispering god led me here, Fulke. I brought myself. You came because I called you, Eber. They spoke through me. Brother, you have my head spinning. And you fascinate me more with each passing moment. The Saga Stone is hidden away in the care of my acolyte. Are you ready to go see it? The sooner we see this slab of rock, the better. Let's go. Approach the stone with an open mind, Ava. You may find it more interesting than you expect. <laughs> Ava! You've strayed from the true path! What is it about this stone that captivates you, Fulke? The Saga Stone comes from an ancient race of beings, a generation of lesser gods, as do all the artifacts I collect for my church. You prayed to the Christ Jesus in your cell. Is your church not the Church of Rome, like these Saxons? These Saxons believe in Christ the Redeemer, but I know his true purpose. Christ the Educator, the Keeper of Secret Knowledge. Is this why Edwin loathes you, for preaching such an idea? Yes. 
Christians like her, like, like Alfred, they believe Christ's purpose on earth was to wash us free of sin. The Roman church has been deluded by the lies of Saclus, or Yaldabaoth, the demiurge of many names, a lesser god. Saclus and his kind were wise in the time, but they lost sight of the true god, the self-begotten one, lord of the treasury of light. As I was saying, Saclas and his kind were wise in the time, but they lost sight of the true God, the self-begotten one, Lord of the treasury of light. This is why Edwin had me punished and imprisoned. What she calls heresy is, in fact, the true nature of the universe. Yours is a strange saga, Fulke. And I have not yet reached its end. Be on your guard. Someone is watching us. Take care, everyone. The villagers aren't happy we're here. Edwin's eyes and ears, no doubt. Up ahead. What is this tower? A ruin from England's Roman past. My acolyte found it abandoned and derelict. He took refuge here after his bishop expelled him for teaching the same truths that got me imprisoned. He was a priest. He was, and he is. The bishops of England are simply too craven and deluded to understand the secret <laughs> wisdom we possess. Is this him, your acolyte Paul? My dearest friend. May you live as one with the true God in the treasury of light. Your friend paid the price for his loyalty. I imagine he was guarding the stone. Edwin's men did this. They killed Brother Paul and took my stone. You, always questioning, second-guessing my wishes. You slowed us down, and I missed my chance. Basim fills your head with twisted prophecies. He leads you like a chained dog. Basim has shown me so much. He knows my mind. Hold, both of you. You hear that? Soldiers, Edwin's here. How dare you Danes befoul my lands? Hold our favor, first we talk. Lady Edwin! A stone was taken from this tower, inscribed with runes. And the image of a tree. Do you know it? Yes. One of this heretic's blasphemous baubles. Is that why you've come? We are here to trade that stone for an assurance of peace. What are you saying? We gave Gadrid our word. For that stone? We will leave your lands, and not return. Oh, for this? You must bring me Giedrich's head. The stone is within our grasp. We made a promise, brother. Brother. We have a deal, then. We accept. Done. We do not! Avon! <laughs> No! Cut them down! <laughs> Leave that alive! Ava, are you mad? Edwin, please. We had our chance. We will speak of this, Ava. I will not forget. Let me go. 
Aver, you mock-minded fool! That was our chance to recover the stone without letting of blood. Is that now your stands, in spite of promises made? I am your Jarl, and I have sight and wisdom well beyond what you know. A coward's answer. Remember your place, Eivor, or nothing good will come of all this. Stay out of this! Enough! If it wasn't clear why Sigurd is in command, it is now. Your temper runs too hot, Wolf Kissed. You want to settle things with Basim? You call a home gang. Else you follow me. You listen to me, you do as I ask. Edwin will flee to her castle. You want your stone? It will be there. Gidrich's pathetic army will never breach the walls. We could have first taken the stone, then laid siege. That was always our plan, Eivor. I had no intention of betraying Giedrich. It was your plan all along. Yet you saw fit to keep me guessing through your fits of madness. You are not always to be trusted. Your passions overcome you. I know that. My father knew that. Your father knew it. <laughs> You move with the wrath of Odin, but you do not have his wisdom. That will lead you astray, Eivor. Come, friend. We have a battle to prepare for. This quarrel with your brother is something to behold. Has it always been so heated? All my life we've moved as one. As family. As kin. I've always known his mind, and he mine. Until this day. Time makes idiots of us all. You thought well today, Fulke. Would you fight beside me now? To wrest control of the Shire from Edwin? I will. Gidrich asked me to cripple her line of support. Would you know where she gets her rations and supplies? East of Oxenforda. South of the Lichvila. There's a place called Eton Barn where eager merchants sell to soldiers. Meet me there. I'll come soon. Sigurd, brother, you are lost in a sea storm of your own making. Edwin's defenses have been weakened, but I could do more before joining Fulke.
I need your eyes, my friend. That is where you will be if these supplies reach her castle. I'd give them over to any man for enough silver. I have a livelihood to keep. I had silver before I was caged, and I will again. I need only to give time. I must go to my boat. It's a crying shame, your story. But a few supplies ain't gonna re- Good friend, your wares will bring death to the farmers and merchants of this land. Could you live with such a burden? None of my concern. Not until they're sorted. There's Fulke. We don't have time for philosophical discussion. He said soldiers are coming. We can use these oil jars to surprise them. Fewer reinforcements for Edwin. I see visions of burning men. The screams of... If we... Take position. You'll hear me. Your wounds on these bodies weep like little eyes. Should we hide them? Fresh kills will arouse suspicion. What was that? My howl. Edwin's men approach. <laughs> Prepare yourself! The soldiers are close!
That's the last of them. Edwin will be waiting for aid that never comes. Something wrong? No. At Sancte Albanes, your brother claimed kinship with the gods. Is it true? Is he descended from the Archon's children? The Isu? Not to be blunt, Fulcate, but only half of what you say ever makes any sense to me. Forgive me. I often presume too much of my audience. Men who fear damnation, when ignorance is the greatest of all evils. Ignorance of what? What a perfect sentence. I'll ask more simply. Could your brother be descended of the gods? Or could he be a god himself? You've spent two weeks of fasting. Sigurd, yet it's po We haven't time for these fantasies, Fulke. It's time I regroup with Gidrich to see how his assault preparations are coming along. Godspeed, Eivor. I will stay here to pray for the souls of the dead before I join you. 